Hey, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good day. Uh, on this episode of AT&T, we're gonna show you how to connect a mesh system. So the AT&T extender, uh, you can purchase those at 50 bucks on probably Amazon, AT&T's website. Uh, there is a $10 a month program that AT&T offers. It is a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. It only works with, well, I can't say only. I've seen it work with the BGW320, 210, and 5268AC. Uh, if you're gonna use the 210 or the uh, 5268AC, the 4921 is gonna be your best option. If you're gonna use the Wi-Fi 6320, then the bigger gate, the bigger mesh system is gonna work. But on this one, I'm gonna show you your basic one for 50 bucks. So it doesn't really break the bank. It's gonna cover some pretty good coverage. It does come with 2.4 and 5G AC in card, BGN on the two on the 2.4. So you get some good coverage with it. Um, the 320 can cover a good 2,000 square foot home. Let's say you have some outside cameras or it's on the back side of the of the home and you want to put a little bit more in the front then that's where the little 4921 is going to come in handy i'm going to show you how to do this real quick all right so what we have here is this is the uh four uh, i'm sorry this is the bgw 320 and this is the 4921 uh wi-fi mesh this one is uh, att 123 this one is not this one is going to be called like i have it here it's wife um, att mesh smart mesh 99 s there it goes i'm sorry uh, air ties underscore smart mesh well there's a password for it we're not going to use that i want to marry it to my wi-fi so in order to do that there's two ways to do it there's an easy way and then there's, there's a little longer way we're going to do it the longer way because sometimes you can't get to this backside because some of the gateways are installed in areas you can't get to like i'm not i'm not going to pull this in because i tightened all my wires up back there so this is wps button right here and so is this one you're going to press the 320 first for a couple seconds and then immediately following after that press the uh, 4921 they're going to start syncing up together have you a phone or something ready because you will no longer see the AT&T underscore smart mesh you're going to start seeing like my Wi-Fi name is pure whips 5g so this one's going to start saying air uh, no longer say air ties it'll link over to my pure whips so we'll just kind of wait on that for a minute um, while I'm talking to you about this I said this is the longer way the easier faster way is you grab you an ethernet cord you go to port one and then port one on this guy and that's pretty much it but this way ensures that it's always going to work and let's say you have this set up at a distance that might be too far well it's not going to work so you know that you got to move it over just a little bit more but connecting it through WPS is a fast, secure way. Uh, I see I see it work a lot of times. So it's not that it's a bad thing, it's actually pretty dang good. Some people knock on it, well, I'd rather hardwire it. Yeah, you can hardwire these so you can get a little bit more Wi-Fi. So the maximum Wi-Fi on a mesh system with this device on Wi-Fi is about 150 megabytes per second. If you hardwire from the back to here, say in another room, that's you know, two rooms away. And if you have a perfectly square house and this gateway is on one part of the square and then you, this room over here doesn't get good Wi-Fi, well, you, run, you have an ethernet cord running from this guy to the other room into a jack. It'll run on this and you'll get its own network, its own Wi-Fi out on that side of the house. So as we can see, the Wi-Fi name is now gone. It's no longer there. I have the little green light and the white light are married. WPS is gonna stay on quite a bit for about, sometimes it's stay on for 10 minutes, which is crazy, but it's not blinking, it's not broadcasting anything, it's just on to marry these two. After about five minutes, now they're connected and then you can move it over. Um, it looks like it's pretty quick at connecting, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, just give it a good 10 minutes. So I'm gonna move this to the kids' room. That way I can have some Wi-Fi. We'll put it out there. We should see a solid light connected and then we're going. Hang tight. 
All right, so we are now in my kids' room. Um, they like Kit Kats and gum and everything. This device is now married to my original gateway. So it is gonna give me Wi-Fi in this room out here. Um, this room doesn't get very good Wi-Fi. So what I ended up doing was I measured the distance with the Smart Home Manager app. Um, and you can use the Smart Home Manager app on the Wi-Fi and manage your Wi-Fi. Uh, and then you can do Wi-Fi scan and signal strength. I use my signal strength that it showed me that this spot is about a 60 dBm, which is optimal. So between 56 and between negative 56 and negative 72 is the optimal range for this. Now, if I moved it over one more, my neighbors probably get some really good Wi-Fi. We're not gonna give them Wi-Fi, they have their own internet, so. Um, while this is blinking on, something I was kind of talking about is that little Ethernet port right there. That's a Cat5 line, but they use it for a phone line because my house was built in the 1970s. Uh, so, well, 1980s, I'm sorry. Anyways, it's got a Cat5. It's been updated. All I would have to do is swap that out for an Ethernet jack and then uh, our Ethernet RJ45 jack 568. B, and then I got to make sure that the other side where the gateway is coming from connects to it and then we're in business so it takes a few minutes for this device to connect that's why the best way is by going Ethernet uh, but since I'm not gonna rip that wall plate out and mesh it over it's just this is perfectly fine I, I, they don't need that much now it's connected it's running Smart Home Manager would be your best friend, but easiest way to do it is just kind of open this up. Make sure you no longer see the ATT or Smart Air Ties, AT underscore is ATT Mesh 999S. So, hope this helped you guys out on how to properly connect these things. This is a live demonstration. Uh, obviously, it's going to go a lot smoother for you guys. I just kind of did this a uh, little bit of a slower way. But uh, I believe that if you follow this method that I'm showing you, you shouldn't mess up. Just make sure you use a smart home manager app. Uh, it's going to help you determine where your signal strength is. It just kind of just kind of began, and I'll start walking you certain areas, and you just show on the floor. Let me see if I can. So there's like a little thumb. There you go. So this is actually negative 62, so it's not... It's perfect. Uh, this is a good signal strength. But uh, that's the way to do it, guys. So give me a thumbs up out there. and Let's do some more videos in the future. Have a blessed day.